All right, Kenman here, and we are on die project number 35. Let's go. These aren't all die project, are they? That could be laser mark. Hmm. What's going on? Let's find out. Before we start, I'm not sponsored by anyone. And I purchase everything at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, you know what to do. Please feel free to comment below. Also, KDK in 4K, that is right. Please go to KDK in 4K. That's on Instagram. I've got an Instagram I've been sending, put, sending, posting some photos, following some others, having some fun on there. The Kenman Dan Kenman channel. Over on Instagram is KDK in 4K. That's K D K I N 4K. Go check me out. Let's have some fun over there. Let's see if we can post some photos. There, you, I can post the 200K or you know I can post 200 megapixel photos over there. I can only post 15 here. Videos here and stuff's fine, but it's like sometimes I take some really higher quality photos. I wanted to post them. Here we are. All right. Die project number 35. Huh? Which one's it going to be? Well, let's just start off. I've got, this is Kubi Titius number three. I love the Titius. Um, I think I'm still kind of keeping this one undyed and probably use it for one of the next upcoming giveaways that I'm going to be doing. And then if someone chooses that one, they can then also choose the dye color for it. So we're going to leave that at that for now. Uh, I am interested in trying some micarta. I have not dyed micarta, but apparently it works. And this Kaiser Lieb is an awesome knife that looks just fine as it is. Works fantastic, but I would consider letting it be an experiment piece. I could change the color on those scales and not be too upset about it. But we're going to save that one for later as well. What color would you do that one in if you were to do that one? Um, as you saw, I did just get rid of the pyrite, my black PVD coated pyrite that had the um, laser mark of the lightning on both sides. Uh, someone wanted to buy it, so I let them have it, and it is now, um, should be in their possession soon. It's in the mail. Um, so this is the only pyrite that I currently own. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this was actually the original style that I liked the most when the pyrite came out. There's so many new versions now, but, uh, this will be my new pyrite for doing the comparisons and stuff. I'm considering laser marking this one as well. Um, so this would end up being a black laser mark on this silver. This is not aluminum. This is a steel, um, scale. So like on my... Arc Blast, this is aluminum. So aluminum takes laser marks different. Like see, this is the mark. The skinny line is the mark. See how it's darker and the other spot's lighter? And I shift it. Now the other spot's lighter and it's darker. See how that works? Lighting's kind of strange right here, but see, you can make it shift. It's basically, you can get some really good marks out of it, but it's kind of limited to a more of a solid tone um, versus I'm interested in doing some where there's going to be some more grayscale and more gradients, kind of like photo image. And on like steel, you could do that. So on this, I could do some a little bit more of a detailed image versus just patterns and shapes, kind of like that circle would just be considered just more like patterns versus actual like imagery is what I'm getting at. So we could do that with this. Um, pyrite, something to consider, or I might just leave it just as is. I love the way it looks just like that. And then there were three. Narrow it down slow today, Ken Man. Um, this is the Talisum T2. I already did a Migron Talisum in a trifecta where I took off this the clip 
added a titanium clip which we anodized, dyed the scales, and put a laser mark on the blade. We could do this talisman in a trifecta as well. Um, we're going to be saving it for later, but we have it. What would you like to see? What color? What do you want me to do? Should I trifecta this one as well? Or what do we want to see? And then there were two. And guess what? We're doing them both. Let's go. Die project number 35 is going to be the Sencut Waxahachie Fixed Blade. We are going to dye these scales. It's going to be fun. Let me slide this over here for just a second. But let's get some last looks at the Sencut Waxahachie. As we always do, this will be dye project number 35. What color do we think it's going to be? Comment below. I'm going to set that right here for now. And I'm going to pull back down the CJRB Agave. Now this is another aluminum handle. It's got kind of a orange peel texture, almost kind of a little bit of a really, really light, thin texture to it. Really cool flipper tab from CJRB, uh, the Agave. But I am going to laser mark this. Now, I am going to laser mark this in a similar way that not the same laser mark as this Arc Blast, but in order to get this to work this way and kind of the way it sits on there is I took the knife apart and then just laser marked just the scales. I am going to be doing that with this. So today we are going to be taking apart both of these. So let's go ahead and get the last and final looks at the CJRB Agave. Nice looking long, slim, cool, profiled knife and blade here. Do we think I'm going to put a laser mark on just the handle or just the blade or both? Comment below. What do you think it's going to be? What would you like to see? What do you think I'm going to do? Are you excited? Okay. Holy crap. Unprepared I am. Walking away, but not that far. All right. Standard way we do this. This one's going to be a little different with this uh, Waxahachie since it's basically very simple. We'll go ahead and just do the old scene for the fun. Dinner is served. Da, 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 da. All right. How is this going to work? Are these going to be... Let's find out. Wow. Wow. Huh? Oh, there we go. That. Did you see I, I bumped a, a thread trying to loosen that one up. Hopefully I didn't strip it. It's just one little, well, probably a couple. We can go watch the tape, Kenman. You suck. You screwed up your... I'm trying to hold in this side, making sure it's not... I think we're good. All right. Try to see him on this side. I'm trying to be careful because there is a blade. Looks like this is the move. And then we can just punch these out. I'm going to use the other one since it's a little bit longer. <sighs> hmm. I think I need to change that bit. These are T8s. Don't have to change the T8 bits anywhere near as often, but I always keep several extra bits on hand. Because when one starts to go, that's when you really just want to get rid of it. Because it's only just going to get worse and it's going to make things worse for you. And this is turning out to be more than I thought it was. All right. Why? Hmm. Ha! 
Is this what I, you know, I don't want the video to just go forever, but these spin. That spins. I can feel it spinning on this side here, but it doesn't really seem to want to come out. I can feel it spinning on the other side too. So this is this is spinning. Okay. That one went. Those are extremely tight. Now we gotta be very careful here with this blade. And we've done it. Scale. Scale, simple blade, very cool design. Let's take a little look at it. Really simple, they just knock down those edges nicely so when the scales go on there. Very simple, cool uh, setup. All right, we're gonna have to double up this cloth here. I don't have another one of these set up right now that I can easily get to so I'm just gonna put this knife at the top put these scales right here comment below what color you want to see this one turn to and we have completed that one all right let's see let's shut the action one more time here a little stiff but works really good flips out good the the detent is solid so when you Barely get that pressure on there. It pops and fires the blade all the way out. <sighs> it might not be a captive pivot. Let's find out. I think it's a captive pivot. How about that? Every once in a while you get a drill bit hole on both sides. And before I go crazy here, I guess this is already out, but I usually like to loosen everything up so it doesn't get squirrely on you. And also you don't always wanna loosen up one side too much it makes it hard to loosen up the other side sometimes that barrel will stick to one side if you just loosen the other side too quickly and then you have a hard time getting it to slip loose and it just spins with the barrel and you get nowhere all right my bounce bump in the table there apologize if I was making everyone dizzy for a moment there So yeah, this is pretty much all T6 screws. Is that barrel spinning in there on me? Except for the pivot was a T8, which is fairly common for a lot of knives. Um, it'd be nice if they were all T8s, but that is not usually the case it's fine you just got to be a little more careful those t6s are small even though you saw me strip out that t8 just a little bit okay i like to pay attention when i take this not any knife apart see how they had it try to put it back together the same way so i'm going to take this top scale off wow that's recessed in there nicely that's cool and then i'm going to notice the bearings do not have a closed side, and we'll just leave that bearing in that part of the blade. This does have a captive pivot, so you can see the little flat spot. Let me just focus the flat spot on the bottom. It keeps it from spinning. So if you look on this hole here, the bottom of this hole, has that flat notch that lines up with that. OK, 
Okay, there is that barrel space. These pretty much can just stay in there, but I'm wondering if those little rings fall out easy or not. That. It's pretty solid in there. Anyway, all right, so we've got it. We have the agave completely taken apart here. I may try to pop that gold piece out before I do the mark, or I might let the mark go over it if I were to be marking that part anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, laser marks to come on the CJRB agave. We have some dye for the scales for the Sun Cut Waxahachie. Got them both all torn apart. Looking good, excited. Several more projects in the works on the channel here. Lots of uh, dyes and lasers and scrimshaws. Oh my. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of stuff uh, coming up. Stay tuned. Got some giveaways coming up. Uh, watch out for that. This will be it for today. If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to see more. Helps me out and I really appreciate it. Stay sharp. Dyes and lasers coming soon. We'll see you later.